Well, it is Friday and that means time for another science experiment. This week, Laura shows us how to make a special customized Mother's Day bouquet. So we've got a pretty simple experiment. You've maybe done this in the past. All you need is some warm water, a few white flowers, and food coloring. So I have some white carnations. I've got three different ones and three different colors. You'll want a little bit of water. Cut these at a 45 degree angle at the stem. Stick them right into your food coloring. And over time, you'll see the colors start to change. And I've got the flowers right here. It worked, they look so great. Here's another white flower that I left out. So just to compare. Uh, the reason why this works is really simple. It's because there's a tissue called xylem in these flowers. They lift up the water through the stem into the flower itself and they leave behind the food coloring while the water evaporates during photosynthesis. So Meredith, this is a really fun experiment. I know Marin would love to do this at home. You can have so much fun with it. Absolutely, Laura. When I think about how customizable it is, when you mix, you know, you can really, um, create any color flower you, might, you want by mixing that food coloring. And I would think, Laura, that the longer you keep the flower in, the more vibrant the color becomes, correct? I expect so. So I'm gonna put these back in the, the food coloring and see how vibrant they do get, but they smell so good. I love this experiment because this one, you can just cheer yourself up with it. <laughs> I love it. I love the colors you created. They're beautiful, uh, beautiful, lovely shades. 